said, the idea that some lives matter less is the root of all that is wrong with the world. I am ashamed to say that I live in a country where this statement is a reality. It has been two weeks since we last met to discuss Mojgan's plight, yet nothing has changed. There is a veil of silence covering the issue with no response from the government. Just this past week, I read the words Mojgan wrote that absolutely broke my heart. I don't know how I will be able to repay everyone. Do we possess so little compassion in our society that believing in human rights for all is so implausible? Please answer me, Mr. Abbott, as I am unaware to see how this selfless girl is seen as a criminal in your eyes. We will not stand by and allow you to take away the basic human rights of innocent people. This country is better than that. Is our government aware they're making Australia a laughing stock on the international stage? There is a shift worldwide on the opinion of asylum seekers and they are watching. Aren't you embarrassed? Aren't you embarrassed that people on a global scale are mocking us for the absurdity of this situation? Mr Dutton, if you are choosing to ignore us, if you think we will disappear, you're in for a shock. Our numbers continue to grow. Our voice is becoming louder. We will continue to fight. We will continue to fight until the government stops abusing our name and we are once again proud to be called Australian. We will continue to fight until operational reasons is no longer a justified excuse for tearing someone away from their family and their education. We will continue to fight until Mojgan and other innocent refugees are free. We are a nation built on immigrants. We need young people like Mojgan, an intelligent, hard-working young lady who continuously contributes her talent to the community. The wealth of potential these young people offer is enormous, and it is through education that they can, unleash their, they can unleash their potential. It is through education that we can solve these global issues causing people to flee their countries. Therefore, why are they being denied a fundamental human right? How can we, on an international scale, support the right to education, yet fail to do so on a community scale? The recent act by the government of taking away our dear sister Moshkin and the other fellow students has been of hypocrisy. We cannot ignore this injustice. We will not accept it. Moshkin is a fellow human being who, like the rest of us, is entitled to respect and to a fair goal. If our government can take away fundamental human rights from Moshkin and the others in the same situation, then where will it end? Should the rest of us begin to worry that we too might be stripped of our rights by this government? 